witnessed the final full week of operations here at Cedar Point. Cry, cry. Very sad. So today is a Wednesday and we figured we would come out because there won't be any more Wednesdays for the rest of the year. Wow. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of sad. But the weather said, hey, you know what? We're gonna comply with your feelings and we're gonna be gloomy and windy and chilly. It feels like fall. It, yeah, it totally feels like You might have forgot what a jacket was because it was summer. But now it feels like fall. Yeah, it's this crazy. is yeah, this is no good. It's cold. But um but but later on in the week, we're gonna come back later on in the week. And I think it's supposed to be like mid-80s or something like that. So it's yeah, supposed to be really warm. Supposed to be like 90. Yeah, so if you're coming then, you will not be wearing a jacket. But little gripe, little gripe really quick before we get fully into this vlog. Cedar Point needs to get their act together because Cedar Fair, as a lot of you know, got rid of their Platinum Pass. And Platinum Pass and Prestige Pass is what got you early entry to the park this year, not Gold Pass. But they got rid of the pl Platinum for 2024. So when we renewed on our app, on our phone, it now just says Gold Pass. So when we came up for early entry today, she looked at our phone, she looked at my phone and said, oh, you have a gold pass, you don't get early entry. I'm like, no, we have a platinum pass. I'm like, we have a platinum pass until the end of the year. And then next year we have the gold pass with all, with all park passport, which also gets you early entry. So no matter what we get early entry and she like argued with us. She's like, she like pulled back her little scanner and was refusing to scan. And I'm like, no, just scan it and let us in because we 100% get early entry. Cedar Point needs to train their employees. You have managers for different parts of the park. You have managers for the front gate. Have those managers teach each and every one of those people exactly all the rules. Well, because it's unacceptable for also, employees not to know the rules. And while it also shows show gold pass, it shouldn't show, show gold pass until next year. Yeah, on the we app. actually have gold pass. Yeah, on the app it That's shouldn't. It's just so platinum, it makes it easier on average. Yeah, the app, the app sucks, definitely. Um, but I don't carry around our physical cards, our physical platinum passes, I don't carry those around. But anyway, on to our day. We just did Gatekeeper, complete walk on. Wild Mouse now, we're in line four. It's got a little bit of a line. Not too bad though. Uh, we expect today to com be completely dead because it's the middle of the week. Lots of kids are back in school. So we expect for there to be like almost no crowds here whatsoever. So let's see what the day entails for us. Hollow weekend's decorations are coming out in full effect. You see a lot of the, uh, lot of the skeletons out. Those are all these such good photo ops here at Cedar Point. People are their pictures by them. Heading to some early entry. Millennium. Millennium. Millennium Forest is the best steel coaster in the world I saw out there. Yeah, there, there's a sign that says best steel coaster. So Early entry looks like it should be a walk up. This is classic early entry. This is like early entry from from years ago. Never mind. On our way to the back of the park, we're walking through Frontier Trail right soon now, to, just getting soon, into it. Soon to be banished, and you can start to see some banished things. Yeah, one of our favorite things is right here. They put a like a, a bungee, and someone's like someone's attached to it, and when people come through under there they jump out at them and then like bungee back this it's whole area is definitely the prime haunted area like um yeah it, yeah as far as just like a walkthrough area but yeah they start to have these boxes out these are aren't these usually uh a bunch of straw or hay aren't they like barrels of hay or something usually uh here i don't 
No? Okay, I don't I don't remember. They do have these little prison things that you can jump in, jump in. And they have like monsters in there. We did Millennium. Millennium was running fine. We did a uh, second to back row, I think. But we're heading back to do, uh, well, I think we're gonna do uh, Maverick, but Steel Vengeance, the lockers have been broken since the flood. So that makes you have to. You have to buy a regular locker, or if you have the ADA access, then you get to use that. But if you don't have that, you gotta pay for a locker. Which isn't good. Yeah, which makes Steel Vengeance essentially an upcharge ride, which is no bueno. Over here where Thunder Canyon usually roars down the rapids is now being worked on and put together for Corn Stalkers 2.0. And then over here, Snake River Falls is usually open until Labor Day. But from what I've heard, it's, it's not, it's closed for the rest of the year now already. I mean, only a few days early, but still. So no more water rides here at Cedar Point. And a day like today, you definitely don't need any water rides open. Freak show sign is up. You know Halloween weekends is right around the corner when freak show starts getting ready. But we are getting ready for Maverick. Regular line for Maverick is very small. Maverick usually, even during slow days, takes up that entire queue. We just decided to just marathon Maverick because this is now going to be our third ride on it and if Steel Vengeance, if the lockers aren't working then I don't know, I don't even know if we're going to, we're going to walk back and make sure that they're, the free lockers are still yeah, inoperable. Flooded. Everything got flooded and like, what, short circuit. Yeah, something like that, but we figure we'll just marathon Maverick because why not? Okay, this was completely on accident, but our first ride, we just said that we rode it, we, that was gonna be our third time. Our first time we rode it in row one. Second time we rode row two. Third time we rode row three. Again. And we're like, yeah, this was completely on accident, but we figured we're going to go on, we're gonna go on six times and ride in each row, one, two, three, four, five, six. All in order. So right now we have to ask for row number four. I don't think anyone's ever asked for row four before. Are you guys ready to ride? Oh, row five. Woo. And then we only have one more to go after this. I think Maverick's theming is underappreciated. Look at that theming. You got a boat, you got a ladder. Got a waterfall. Six. The cycle will be complete. One more ride. Unless it intimates on us and breaks down. And then it doesn't open for the rest of the day. And then we're stuck. And more impressive than a baseball player hitting for a cycle, we just did the Maverick cycle. Maverick cycle, even more impressive. Definitely more impressive. Uh, so it took, it's 11.20 now. We got into line originally for Maverick around 10.20 or so. A little bit after whatever, but it, so it took about an hour. Yeah, it took about an hour to get six straight rides on, uh, on Maverick. And we did it straight. We didn't, we didn't take any breaks. No, we did row one, then row two, then row three, then row four, then row five, then row six. Yeah, all one after another. And that's a lot. That, that, took, that took a lot out of me. Uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still a front person. I still like front row Maverick. I, I front is really good. I think I might lean towards back maybe a little bit. Even though, but row three did have very comfortable restraints. It felt softer for some reason. I don't know why. Interesting. I think he's making that up. Okay, we hear them over the loudspeakers saying that the free lockers are still down. 
So that means that if you want to ride, you have to use those lockers over there, which do cost $3 each time that you use them. We love it when people ride steel benches, but we hate it when people are kicked out of line. So please. A little bit of Gemini. We always love doing Gemini, as long as it's racing. Are both sides open? Sandbags only get to ride this train, so they're on one train ops. More Halloween weekend stuff. These are the tents that they sometimes do, like tarot card readings and stuff. And then they have this. I don't know, like this is new. I've never had this before. So I'm not sure if it's actually gonna play any practical purpose and do anything, or if it's just gonna sit there and be decoration. Gemini was a good good ride. We got the we passed the dollar back and forth. He almost dropped it a couple times. We got some staters being installed. And the staters are gonna go all the way back to about the switch track. So it's gonna be quite a way. Nobody cares about Top Throw. Have you noticed that nobody talks about Top Throw 2 anymore? Nobody. That's that's all anyone could talk about for two years. And then, they announce and, it. And they announce it. That announcement is supposed to hype you up. I don't think people actually cared about riding it. People just cared about speculating about it. Exactly. It's been a very dead day today, which we kind of figured it would be. Uh, and then if you like seeing dead days at amusement parks, make sure to go check out our King's Island vlog from last Friday. We went and uh, what, there was like absolutely nobody there, that right? That was probably the busiest, busiest day I've ever seen at, at King's Island. At, at, almost at any amusement park. I don't think I've ever seen it that dead ever. Yeah, amusement parks do not get that dead. Go check that out. Yeah, go check that video out. We will, we will put it up there so you can go and check that out nice and easily. All the hollow weekend stuff is going up. So that means that blue streak will soon be going away. It'll soon be a blue streak. We just did that big one over there called Valverin. I think that's how you say it, Valverin. Something like that. And now we're gonna do the Boo Streak. We were saying how dead it was. Valraven had a little bit of a line, like a regular line. Fast Lane was completely empty. But here at Blue Streak, there is absolutely nobody. And our. Nope, our row 11 is calling our name right there. I always like when we get the last train before before something happens and then they have to kick everyone off the... I don't know. Someone has to get off. No, no re-rides. Oh, I think it's being RMC. Oh, is that what's going to happen? I don't know. Do you want to wait for Max Air? I don't know. Pretty long. I don't it's know. got a long line, so might not wait for it. Doesn't go that high.
Max Air is complete. That is probably, what, our last ride of the day? Yeah, we didn't want to be here too long today. Just getting a little trip just because, like we said at the beginning, it's the last full week of operations here at Cedar Point. So can't let that go by and not get in a little trip. Uh, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go down, subscribe, leave a like. Leave a like. Subscribe, comment. Commenting helps. All that stuff helps. Liking helps. If every single person that watches this video gives it a like, and comment something, All you do, then that would help with the I'd YouTube so algorithm happy. I'd so be much. So happy. I'd look be how so look happy. how happy he would be. Let's see how happy. That's how happy he would be. Or if you want to make him really really happy, you can go down into the description, and there's a link, and that link takes you to a channel membership page, and the channel membership page gets you exclusive videos, shout outs like this. These people right here all were nice enough to join our channel membership and like i said they get exclusive videos pictures stuff like that oh, so, um yeah. and uh and it helps out the channel oh so much we can't uh, tell uh, tell you guys how much we appreciate all our channel members so thank you to all you all you fine fine people and that's it that's it for this video we're out of here we're walking this way look if i spin you guys Look, Milo's over there now. The way How'd you walking. get over there? I don't know. That's the exit. That's the yeah, way that we're going. I didn't know. So we are going to our car, and we are out of here. So see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios. He just said it. Goodbye.